Hi, my name's Angie Jack. Um, I live in Brighton. I was born in Penang, Himalaya. My father was in the Air Force, so we traveled around a lot. During those younger years, um, I was physically abused, I was sexually abused, I was emotionally abused. Um, as I got older, I was bullied very badly at school. My parents divorced and um, my mother abandoned me. Later on, my father also abandoned me. I was in a really bad place. When I was 17, I met an older man. I was homeless. Um, we camped out um, for a while and he found us somewhere to live um, and that's where I had my first son. I was a baby having a baby basically, didn't really know what I was doing but I put everything into it. A couple of years down the line, my partner, we didn't get married, my partner developed psychotic schizophrenia. I needed a break from this relationship and he couldn't cope with that. He broke down and attacked me with a broken glass, um, cutting my legs, my face, my, my arms. Um, and basically I was left for dead. Not long after that, I fell in love with somebody else who beat me badly for two years. Um, I escaped with my son to a women's refuge and that's how I came to live in Brighton. I was in a really dark place at the time and I'd been flicking through the channels on cable TV and I just came across this channel which I believe was called the God Channel. Every time I switched the God Channel on, it was like God was speaking to me through the television. There was a guy called Matthew Ashimowale preaching at the time. He was preaching on the blood of Jesus and I was just taken aback by it really because I mean I'd always believed in God um, but never knew him or really understood anything. But there was always that belief there. And so I was, I was transfixed really and I was just listening. I was in awe, just listening to this guy. And he said that he wanted to invite me to pray and that my sins would be forgiven and that I'd be washed by this blood and that I'd have a brand new start. And, and I couldn't wait for this, for this prayer at the end of the program. And I prayed the prayer and I was standing in front of the television and when I prayed this prayer I just felt this presence. I didn't know what it was but I fell to the floor and I just cried and cried for what seemed like forever. I just cried. I couldn't stop crying and I started watching Joyce Myers and she was speaking about brokenness and abuse. I'm trying really hard today to get you to understand how much God loves you. And maybe you've been mistreated in life, maybe somebody's been abusing you and saying all kinds of bad things to you, but you need to listen to what God says about you and not what people have said about you. And I just whispered, Jesus, help me. And it was almost like this blanket came around me and in the room. I don't even know how to explain it, but I knew that he was there. I've backslidden more times than I can count, but just the fact that I have God TV at home, and it, God TV is, is in fact the reason that I would go back to church. I just really, really feel that God speaks to me constantly and consistently through God TV. You know, any time that I feel that I need to be fed almost, I can switch on and there'll be something, there'll be a program, there'll be worship music, whatever it might be. Really, you know, today, Things aren't perfect, not by a long shot. Um, I have my eldest son and his wife and the, my grandchildren, two grandchildren, and they're all living with me in a two bedroom house and things are tough, but God's mercy and his grace and his extravagant love and goodness is so evident in our lives that we know that he's got this and everything's gonna be okay.